Since the inception of Dar al Hijra Islamic Center in 1983, the founding community members of Dar al Hijra Islamic Center followed the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the guidance of the Quran to establish a community center for the Muslims in Northern Virginia. the community to stand up for challenges and not to fear and not to give in to pressure whether it is social political or otherwise from any direction and that has been a theme another theme that we wanted to focus on is building and empowering the community in this current climate so many churches so many synagogues temples are saying we need you Dar al-Hijra as a leader in this community to engage with us because the ugly head of racism, anti-Semitism and anti-Muslim bigotry is coming up. What do we say to them? Do we say, I'm sorry, we can only be in one place at one time to organize and engage? Or do we say these Jews and Christians are our allies by advocating for equity and justice and to worship alongside my brothers and sisters through this work. At this weekend school, we teach children Arabic as a language, Islamic studies, the Sira and Quran. The goal of the school is to make it so that the children can read and write anything in Arabic. First, we start off with Quran. The teacher will have us memorize a couple of ayahs. Then we'll have a short 30 minute break. A lot of benefits because I also take Arabic in middle school and that has helped me a lot. I want them to love the language and love to learn Arabic and Quran as well. Alhamdulillah, 2016 has been a year of success. The Darul Hijra Social Services Department is totally dedicated to creating a positive and profound difference in our community. Sharing with you our is to empower women, learn a skill, and move forward from working from home. Alhamdulillah, we also partnered with Empowered Women International to host a three months entrepreneurship workshop, which actually gave priority to previous and current sewing class students in order to enable them to market their newly acquired skills. Actually experiencing something they are doing that is transformative not just informative so when we read these verses or when we learn something on the Sira we want these kids to go outside and say okay how can I practice this verse how can I practice what my Prophet Sallallahu has taught us so it's not just imaginary faith but it's something that is realistic it's something that is coming from not just their heart but their mind but it's hitting every aspect of their life and that's what we want our kids to do that's what we want them to focus on I'm liking the direction that Dar al-Hijra is going in integrating the different departments here at Dar al-Hijra. 
where you're seeing young people go from here to communications or you're seeing them participate in outreach programs you're seeing them being trained in speakers bureau you just see their talents growing and being able to serve the community instantly right as we we're working on this process together and so with that kind of cooperation with that kind of training with that kind of focus the future can only be magnificent from here we pride ourselves in communications for being the youngest department here at Dada Fisher Islamic Center we are able to utilize the creativity and talents of our recently hired employees, Sister Judy Fan, Sister Dua Falah, and Brother Muhammad Safuri, in representing our community on the virtual spectrum. We have the honor of not only serving our community and representing them, but we have the ability to serve those who serve our community and show people outside of Dara Hijra and inside Dara Hijra that we are really founded in our faith and explanation growing in our services. I'm very happy and blessed to work in the Masjid and House of Allah. This is uh, making me happy every day. You know, I'm very happy to protect others. Doesn't matter what religion is, but I have to protect everyone coming to this building. This part of my job, you know, I'm not fear of anything. I give my life to everyone in this building. الله الرسالة اللي أحب أقولها لكل الناس لازم الناس يتطوعوا في سبيل الله عشان يخدموا بيت الله سبحانه وتعالى وهذه دار الهجرة سبحان الله هدية من الله سبحانه وتعالى لكل هذا الكوميتي لكل هذا الناس المجموعين هنا وهذا هدية هدية من الله عشان جمعت أسر كثيرة وجمعت أولاد شباب وكل شيء فتحس بنفسك مش غريب في هذا البلد هذا كل ما عاوز أقوله للناس Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar.